I am sure, um, Mr. Moody, that if the police were to go to your house and uh, were to confiscate maybe a notebook, the notebook belonged to you, chances are that you would have copies of the content of the notebook. So at this time, to just outrightly say that it was from the police care or custody that the content of the notebook is out in the public domain is really and truly premature. So then, sir, so then, sir, it, the next question is, so what is going to be done about that particular individual or that Facebook uh, person who posted this thing? Does this mean that this person is part of this illegal, illicit act, drug activity that's happening in the country and we haven't been able to track down this person? We are trying to establish who the person is, but I am sure that you would appreciate the fact that when it comes to the issue of social media, there are several persons out there who hide themselves behind fake profiles. And uh, it is really and, truly, really and truly a challenge for us at times to be able to truly identify who are behind those fake profiles. But like you said, it is something that we're looking at. and. Uh, we surely would be very much interesting to know who the person is and uh, to see what he or she may have that could aid our investigations as we continue to probe into the illegal landings of planes in the northern part of our country.